Hello, this is Sister Marie Trez, and welcome to my fifth and final book critique. My first and featured text is Waiting by Kevin Hinkes. Readers are invited to join five little friends as they watch their world change through their window. As time comes and goes, each of the characters waits with joy and anticipation for something different. One cannot wait for the snow, another for a rainbow, and another to fly their kite in the breeze. My first lesson plan follows the Indiana math standards for kindergarten. As they are learning about the 12 months of the year, the children will have a creative activity in which they design a work of art about something they are excited about in the various different months. They will then work with their teacher using Shutterfly to combine their work, creating a calendar that can be sold in a fundraiser for the school or a charitable organization. My second lesson plan follows the catechetical curriculum for the Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend for first grade. While talking about heaven and all of the amazing things that God has planned for us, students will be asked to pray about something that they are waiting with excitement for in heaven. Each student will make a short animated video to illustrate this desire. They can be published on an online classroom or school website to be shared with the school and local community. If the school has access to BrainPop, this would be a perfect tool to use. If not, Animaker is also a great tool, though younger students may need a little more assistance with it. Here is an example of a video created with Animaker. It would be beautiful to see the simple, funny, and profound ideas their little hearts come up with. What I hope is in heaven are flowers, flowers of every color imaginable and even beyond that. My second text is I Lost My Tooth in Africa by Penda Jakete and Baba Wage Jakete. Readers are invited to travel with Penda and her family to Africa to join her in a special adventure. Upon arriving in Africa, Amina, Penda's little sister, has a loose tooth. Her father explains to her that the African Tooth Fairy brings chickens to children. She wants her own chicken badly and is hopeful that her desire will come true. Next, we have Malala's Magic Pencil by Malala Yousafzai and Kara Skowit. In her own story, Malala shares with readers her desire for a better world. When she was younger, she wished she could do this with a magic pencil. Though magic pencils aren't real, she encourages us to realize that we are all able to make a difference. Our fourth text is The Doll Maker of Krakow by R.M. Romero with illustrations by Lisa Perrin. Readers are invited to Krakow, Poland during the time of World War II. A young doll maker, still suffering the traumatic effects of World War I, creates a little doll that is meant to look like his mother's favorite. Carolina, a living doll who is herself suffering from the effects of war, finds herself magically swept into the doll maker's workshop. Through their relationship, they are able to bring hope to those who are in danger around them. Entering into another magical world, we have the Night Gardener by the Fan Brothers. In a sad and gray city where people have isolated themselves, William wakes up to find a tree sculpted into an owl. Each following night, a mysterious gardener comes and continues to sculpt trees into various fascinating creatures. It isn't long until William's sad town is filled with color and life, bringing joy to all. I would now like to share with you this very fun book, Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims Tabak. In this story, the author brings to life one of his favorite childhood folk songs. Joseph has an overcoat that he really likes. He likes it so much that he wears it out and then transforms it into something else. As readers flip the pages, they will notice how Joseph has to continually cut his coat smaller and smaller. We now have a mischievous little story. I want my hat back by John Clausen. A bear has lost his hat and he desperately wants it back. He goes to each animal asking the simple question, have you seen my hat? Young readers can make connections by associating colors to help him find the culprit of this terrible crime. Our last text is The Good Samaritan and Other Parables by Tommy DePaula. With his iconic illustrations, the author retells our Lord's parables from the New Testament. 
This beautiful book is a perfect text for reflecting with children on the messages that Jesus is teaching us. And this has been my fifth book set. Thank you so much for joining me in this and my other four videos.